I grew up in Brighton on the south coast of England, which is already quite a cosmopolitan kind of uh, multicultural place. But especially at the time, musically, there was loads of jazz, loads of flamenco, um, loads of Irish music like Mandy Murray, uh, Nick Pinn. Um, and my family is a real big mix of Breton, German, Scottish, English. Um, I used to think there was a little bit of Irish, but my uncle John O'Toole wasn't a blood relation. But, um, like, so the, my, my grand played the accordion. Um, my family's always kind of been really into music, but um, none of them played professionally, and they wanted me to have a, a real steady job. Mm -hmm. But you know, music took over. Um, my family, uh, my I'm from Portsmouth, so again, south coast of England, um, ended up in London. My parents were um, both into traditional music, but more the kind of singing side of it. So they both sang in folk clubs and at festivals. My dad was a shanty singer, so sea shanties. We used to go to all of the big like tall ships festivals and things. Um, but through going to all of their gigs and folk clubs and festivals as I was growing up, I just got really into the music side. I started playing fiddle, but I immediately just drew towards um, Irish music and also played a lot of Scottish music as well. Yeah. We actually met playing at an uh, Irish session yeah. in Brighton. We met at an Irish um, session, yeah. I just come, I've been playing with the Dave Manley band in the States and just come back and was desperate to have some tunes. <laughs> and uh, little did I know that, that we could have a three months without tunes. <laughs> it's been um, nice sort of being able to play together at home, but also for a lot of the time we just haven't really felt like playing. Yeah, so it's, uh, um, yeah, it's, been a, it's been a mixed bag. <laughs>